Hello, it's Pros. Welcome back to my IT workshop. So today we're going to update the Dell computer's BIOS using a USB flash drive. So this works for most of the Dell models, whether it's a laptop or a desktop. So let's start. For this, I am going to use this Dell Optiplex 3020, which is a desktop. We're going to simulate that it doesn't have a hard drive. Actually, it has, but we are not going to use it. We're not going to boot Windows on this Dell Optiplex. And we're going to update the BIOS from the BIOS itself. So for that, then I'm going to build a USB uh, on another computer. So that's the one we're going to use in most of the time in this video. So after we have downloaded the new ver the, the new BIOS version, and we have created a bootable USB uh, flash drive, we're going to we're going to copy all that to the USB. We're going to take it out from this computer and connect it to the Dell Optiplex 3020. So now let's go to the computer to do all the work. So here we are in this, uh, well, this is not a Dell computer. Uh, we have the USB, as you can see, it's eight gigabytes, it's empty. So I'm just making sure that, because we need to format this, and when you format, you're going to lose everything on this uh, USB thumb drive. So as you can see, um, this is the one we are going to use. I, I have already connected to this computer. And we are also going to use this command to find out the serial number for your Dell computer. And the command, you open a CMD, and the command is WMIC BIOS get serial number. So when you uh, issue this command, it's going to give you the serial number or service stack, which is a combination of seven letters and numbers. So that's what you need. You can also find the serial number on a Dell computer. If you, leave, if you look in the, in, on the case, somewhere on the case, uh, or on the BIOS itself. So we are, we, we are going to do that in a few minutes. So in my case, if I, if I click enter for this command, I'm not going to receive anything because this computer is not Dell, it's not HP, it's not, I don't know, Toshiba or any other manufacturer. I have built it myself. So I'm going to receive not an error, but something like this serial number to be filled by OEM. So there is no serial number on this device. I mean, as a manufacturer, I'm talking about. Um, so besides this, besides this, we don't need anything else. And we're going to be using another tool that I have already downloaded, which is the DDDDP, which is Dell Diagnostic Deployment Package. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. You can see it's very light, less than two megabytes. And now we are going to go to Dell.com and we are going to find if there is a new version for the BIOS, for the Dell computer that we are going to update. So we go to support and we look for drivers and downloads. And here it's going to ask us for the service stack or serial number. So as I mentioned before, you know how to find it now. You have three methods. And after you put the, the information there, you click enter or you, you, click, you press enter or you click on the on the green arrow on the right and it's going to take you to the next screen and the next screen is you scroll down a little and you choose drivers and downloads so here is going to give you all the available updates any drivers that you want for this for for this model for the model you're looking for if you see this very overwhelming in the in this keyword section you can type well, in our case, we want BIOS. So that's what we are going to type. So you type BIOS and it's going to nar narrow it down to only well, the latest version, which came out in November 2018. So you download it, it's around five megabytes. Very, it's not that, not that much information. I mean, I'm talking about size. I already have it, so I'm going to cancel it. And I have it here. So the version is A19, you only see the, trees, the last three numbers, but it's too long. I'm going to just change the name to update so we can differentiate them. And this is useful later as well. So um, the next step is to run this, uh, the first software, piece of software. And you see this uh, big screen, well, this big information. These are all the models that are supported by this method, uh, upgrading your BIOS using a USB. So most of the models are there, but I know for sure some are not, like a Dell Opti, Dell Latitude I tried a few days ago, it didn't support this. So after you click continue, it's going to install it by default in this, 
in this part of your hard drive, but I don't want there. I'm just going to change it to the to my desktop. That way it's easier. So I just I just change that. I'm just going to click OK. But I made a mistake. I had to create an extra folder to hold all the folders that had been installed or, or unzip. So I'm going to create a new folder called DDDP. I'm just going to drag and drop. That way it looks uh, neat. So now I am here in the folder. Uh, this, this screen here on the center, we're going to use it later. We don't need it. We don't need that right now. So inside the folder DDDP, I'm going to make the the icons a little bigger so you can see it better but for some reason I had the feeling that I we really needed to be big so we're going to have it like this for a few seconds and we go to we need to go to this folder the DIAGS and we're going to make the the files a little bigger so here we don't need all of this we only need five files which are the as you can see on the bottom right command.com, delbio.bin, delrmk.bin, autoexec.bat, and config.sys. The rest, we can delete them. So after you have done that, you have the five that we need. Just go back. And I'm going to make it uh, more, more visible now. Uh, now we are going to, I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on DDDP and this is the actual thing that we had a few seconds ago. So for here we can uh, create a USB, a bootable USB, which is what we are going to do. Or you can also create a CD, but we don't need that right now or soon stay in the future. We don't use CDs much. So I'm just going to use the, the USB, which is already connected. And if you don't have any USB connected, it's going to tell you that it has not... Um, sense any any USB so you have to have one so once you decide that this is the one you just click and as always it's going to tell you that it's going to delete everything on the device so you just click OK and it's going to tell you that for a single FAT16 partition this is way too big a gigabytes is way too big so it's going to be a smaller partition so the rest is going to be like available and you're going to lose it then you can recover it so you click just yes and the process is really quick. As you can see here, it took less than I don't know, one second or something like that. So we don't need this anymore. We go to this PC and you can see that it has been shrink to two gigabytes. And the only thing left for this computer is to copy the update, the BIOS update, and put it into the, our new bootable USB thumb drive. So we see these two files here. We don't do anything with that and we just copy paste and that's it now we are going to take out this usb this bootable usb from this computer and we are going to put it in the dell in, in the dell optiplex that we want to update the bios so this computer we are not going to use it anymore because that's all we need to do here so i'm going to continue on my cell phone so here we are so i have turned on the computer the usb is on and i'm going to press f2 to access the bios so this is the classic um, dell bios uh, uh, menu so you can see dell optiplex 3020 so i go to system information i'm going to click on it and you can see the bios version is a07 and the service stack well you can see all that and this version came out in 2015 it's kind of old three all, more than three years ago that's all we need to do so that's another way to see your serial number or service stack so i'm going to exit so the computer is going to restart and this time i'm going to press f12 because i have to choose the usb that i have created and that is bootable now so you can see the options the PNY, which is my hard drive the usb that we're going to choose the cd and the onboard network card okay so since the usb is bootable i'm just going to select that option and right away it's going to show you this small uh, command prompt diagc and that's all that you can see here technically if you don't remember the name of your file i mean the the app the, the bios update that you have copied a few minutes ago and you have downloaded from Dell.com, you can issue the command dir and you're going to see there the five uh, for the file files that we have left and the update. You just click update.exe because it is an ex 
in five and you just hit enter and it's going to tell you the utility will upgrade your system BIOS and firmware during the process your system will restart do not interrupt this process when it begins do not disconnect the AC power or in other words if you disconnected or there is a power issue your computer might be unusable okay so make that uh, uh, bear that in mind and proceed with caution so we just click yes and as you can see here, it, it's telling me that the A07 version is installed on my computer and is going to be updated to the A19 version, okay, for the Optiplex 3020. So after you have read that, which is just telling you what you have and what you're going to have in a few minutes, you just click yes. Well, you just, you just type Y and that's pretty much it. And the process is going to start. So I have so the videos accelerated, so you don't have to wait for all the process, but it took around four minutes, three minutes and a half. So it's very quick. So as you can see, the process is going on and you just have to wait until it finishes. So there it is. The update has been successful and the system is rebooting. So I'm going to press F2 again to go to the BIOS and we're going to select uh, system information one more time. We click on it. And you can see BIOS version A19. So the upgrade has been successful. And that's pretty much all you have to do, guys. Um, that's all you have to do to upgrade your BIOS using a, a USB thumb drive. So that's all i have to show you for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a like if you have any comment please leave it in the comment section below uh, thank you for watching and consider um, uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one